supporting water's ascension. I am Silvina. I am known as a mere being, which to you may mean that I exist underwater, however, to me, it means that I can travel through high frequency energy vibrations. In truth, I move through light at high speeds. There was a time upon the earth when most of life existed underwater. I was incarnate on the earth at that time. We were less like humans and more like evolved fish, advanced physically, emotionally and mentally. Some of you may remember, this time, it was a period of experiment upon the earth to discover the most appropriate way for beings to exist and evolve on the planet. Upon the inner planes, there are areas, planets and civilizations which seemingly exist underwater. However, water is simply a vibration and frequency of energy, in the same way that air and soil are. Water is a manifestation of energy vibrating at a certain speed. Inner plane beings also experience the energy frequency of water. However, because the physical nature of the earth is not present, it simply manifests as light and consciousness. It is important to realize that the water you experience upon the earth is a part of the universe of the Creator, it is a vibration and consciousness of light expressed from the Creator, in the same way that you are. Like you, water has a soul group, a source from which it extends. The soul group energy manifests into numerous aspects such as water and sometimes even beings that exist within the water. Have you ever contemplated that if you met water on the inner planes, it would be a consciousness of light born from a soul group, exactly the same as you? While some beings who exist in water come from the water soul group, there are additional soul groups which align with the frequency of water, therefore, manifest and extend their energy into life or beings which exist in water. On the inner planes, this manifests as working with a certain vibration of the Creator's light. In the same way that an archangel works with the angelic vibration of light, an ascended master can work with one of the twelve rays of light. There are beings such as myself who work with the vibration and consciousness of water. It is my role as a mere being to work with the energetic vibration of water, using it as healing and to support a union with the Creator, as well as assisting water in evolving in the same way you are spiritually evolving and returning to the Creator. If you were to see me, Silvina, I manifest mostly as a light body, I do not have legs nor really arms as you do, my light body moves and changes shape often, appearing as streaks of silver glistening light. I am currently working with the planet of Venus, sharing the energy vibration and light of water with them, to assist their current mission with the Earth. I and many other mere beings are delivering the most appropriate vibration of water light perceive it more as a light vibration rather than physical water, to the Venus beings, to support in magnifying and amplifying their light so that they may share it with greater ease with the Earth. We are also sharing the water vibration to anchor it into the core of Venus. The light we share is a higher and quicker vibration than the water of the Earth. As Venus accepts this energy, so it is delivered and grounded into the Earth, allowing and encouraging the water of the Earth to quicken in vibration, heal, and in many ways ascend. All water upon the earth is being enthused by the mere beings and Venus with a higher frequency of itself to support a powerful purification process and unification of water with the Creator and all aspects of the Creator. In truth, the consciousness and vibration of the water on the earth is shifting. It has to in order to further magnify the love being received from Venus. I wish for you to take a moment to perceive yourself. You are a being of light and creator consciousness existing within a physical body. Your physical body may become wounded, damaged, and absorb chemicals, however, your soul and light essence remains pure and simply expands through the experiences of your body. It is the same for water. All water upon the earth is the physical body of a consciousness and light essence. Imagine for a moment if your body was the water of the earth. Would you perceive your body as healthy, free from chemicals, filled with life force energy? The truthful answer is that the energies of the water, require to be healed and replenish. This is our purpose, however, we wish to invite you to support the mission co-created by Venus, the mere beings, and the soul of Mother Earth. When the water of the Earth is aligned with its higher aspect and downloaded with the support of Venus, then vital consciousness, 
frequencies, healing, and transformation will take place, which will assist all life in the water physically and spiritually, as well as assisting the shift in the physical body of each person upon the earth. Your body is composed of water, this upgrade and transformation within water will mean that your physical body will also receive healing and be able to receive and experience greater volumes of light. All forms of water upon the earth require to be replenished and purified. This will mean that the wisdom, memoirs, and consciousness that water holds will also be cleansed. This is perfectly appropriate because it symbolizes a release of the past and a clearing to support the water in holding new wisdom, memories, and consciousness which aid current and future stages of ascension. Knowledge essential to the earth will be safeguarded by light and remain within the consciousness of water for all to access when they wish. This will be a powerful cleansing process not only for water, for all upon the earth. For humanity, it may manifest as a cleansing and purification of emotions and the flow of energy or creator light. The purification of the water supported by Venus and the mare beings has begun, and we cannot state how long this will take, it is a mammoth task. However, it is important for you to be observant of your emotions. Your emotions will gain power and momentum, they may wish to rise to the surface, to overflow or may even dissolve as a symbol that there is a need for you to activate your emotions and return their natural flow. Simply being aware of your emotions, experiencing them from a space of peace, and being aware with an element of detachment of how they move through you at certain times, will support you. Then you will begin to understand any patterns in your emotions, any emotions which require healing, to be released or energized. In truth, it is akin to learning to dance in harmony with your emotions while not allowing them to take center stage. It is important to be aware that the flow of your energy will be increased and your emotions may be used to expand and develop the flow of energy throughout your being. You may experience positive emotions moving through your entire body and being like a warm ball of light. This will be your emotions developing the flow of the Creator's energy through your being. To support an enhanced flow of the Creator throughout your being, you may wish to ask yourself these questions. Do I flow with or against the divine flow of the Creator? Or in a particular situation in my life, which you can name, am I flowing with or against the divine flow of the Creator? Do I experience the divine flow of the Creator within me and around me? What does it feel like to me? How can I enhance my experience of the divine flow of the Creator? What do I need to awaken or realize within me? These are questions you may feel unable to answer. However, if in meditation you simply ask these questions to yourself, you will either find that the understanding dawns or that simply the question will create a clearing or activation within your being. You may call upon my energies, Silvina, as well as the Venus beings, to support you with your emotions and flow of energy. We will always lend our light and support to you. We wish to invite you to support our mission with the water of the earth. We wish to invite you to take time to meditate with or focus upon water, contemplating water as a consciousness, light being, and soul group. This is very powerful as it will filter the understanding into the consciousness of humanity, encouraging others to respect the water as an aspect of the Creator, in the same way that humans are aspects of the Creator. Even if you cannot grasp that the water is a consciousness, simply focus upon the water of the earth. Ask for guidance of any healing which needs to take place, and send your gratitude and love to the water, this will help immensely. Additionally, we wish to invite you to connect with the light that is being distributed from Venus, downloading it through your being as this will support the transformation of the water of your physical body. Then energetically distributing the energy and light to the water across the earth. I call upon the most appropriate vibration of energy and light currently being distributed by Venus and the Mare beings to support the ascension of the water of the earth. I wish to anchor this blissful, cleansing, and fortifying energy through my being to support my own ascension, as well as assisting in grounding into and distributing the energy to the water of the earth. Please let me be of service in the most divine and perfect way. Thank you. With eternal truth. Silvina Mare Being Channeled by Natalie Glasson 
www.omna.org.